You're well. Right, in this video, I thought we'll look at five year fixes. Now, this could be five year fixes for, let's do the first time buyers. So, if you were a first time buyer and you were looking to get a mortgage uh, with 10% or 15% deposit last year, and if you are a first time buyer looking to get a mortgage right now with 10 or 15%, what are the best products out there and let's look at the top tables um, the good news is obviously a niche advice we've been taking sort of um, pictures I suppose uh, uh, of uh, or we've been we've been taking collating the data of the best products and we've been writing articles on it uh, for, a, for a few years now so we can actually look back now and have a look and see compare what was out there and what's out there right now so let's get to it here this is the niche advice website um, and let's have a look here so this is the article that I've wrote and I'll leave a link below uh, in the description of the video so five-year fixed rates after the interest rate rise so um, in this video we're just going to concentrate on the two first-time buyer ones I have done buy to let ones as well within this article and I'll do a separate video for buy to let um, so if you're a first-time buyer five-year fixed you wanted a five-year fixed and I think we just we just concentrated on five year fix to make it easier. Um, it doesn't necessarily mean it's the right thing for everybody. So you should always seek independent advice. And this is video and all of my videos are for information pieces only. Um, so first time buyer, five year fix, fifteen percent deposit, and five year fix on a ten percent deposit. So let's have a look at it. So if you're a first time buyer, five year fix, fifteen percent deposit. And we did a snapshot of this on uh, the 13th of the 10th, 2021. The best rate would have been 2.01. Now, that's according to our system. Obviously, there's a little bit of, you know, different system, different lender panels and so forth. But we are a whole market broker, and this is what we've come up with. Um, so, 2.01 was the best rate you could get. What can you get as of today, 25th of the 6th, 2022? Well, by our calculation, the best five-year fix on the market with 15% deposit is at 2.79. Um, what's the following rate? The following rate would have been 3.59. It's now 4.5%. Um, we've then worked out the total amount you must pay back, including the amount of mortgage borrowed. Um, it's sort of giving you that those sort of figures. Uh, obviously, the fixed rate periods, uh, minimum percentage deposits, valuation fee is free, booking fee, nil, Lenders product fee nine nine five nine 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 not too much cash back three hundred and fifty it's actually five hundred and who is the lender NatWest it was then and it's Santander now so it gives you an idea uh, around that now I have to um I have to mention that obviously um, the comparison is based on assumption of price paid for three hundred thousand pounds over twenty five years so and it's on a remortgage capital interest basis true cost figures interest rates mortgage setup cost any cashbacks and rebates so that's really important uh, very very important guys is just because I'm just talking about the rates and products here it doesn't necessarily mean it's suitable for you and obviously additional checks like affordability checks income checks credit checks everything has to be done by your independent mortgage broker or the lender directly so let's look at it if you have 10% deposit if you have 10% deposit on the 13th of the 10th 2021 you would get a rate of 2.59, which is really good. Um, but it's not too bad now. Uh, so with all the scare stories, right, with everything out there, if you look at it, that's not so bad, considering we've had a couple of interest rate rises. Um, so as of today, if you had to go for a 10% deposit mortgage, 2.84. Okay, so it's not so bad. The following rate is not that much different. Okay. 10% uh, deposit, again, free survey valuation fee, no booking fee, lender's product fee, £495, £999, cashback £500, and this cashback is normally, what a cashback is, is basically the lender gives some money back towards your legal cost. Because it's a purchase, they can't offer free legals. So often, what they will do is they'll probably give you that within 30 days of completing on the mortgage, and you can basically to go towards your legal costs. It's not going to cover all your mortgage legals, but it's, you know, it goes a long way. Um, so the lender's name is Accord, was Accord back in the day, again, Santander. So at the moment, they seem to be uh, attracting business. And I would honestly, the way, the way things are, just because it's Santander today, it doesn't mean it's going to be Santander tomorrow because lenders are changing almost, honestly, on a daily basis. I had a client, poor client, uh, 
come come to me about four or five days ago, gave them a rate, came back by the time they got their documents together, got everything sorted out, came back to me, I think on Friday, yesterday, and the rate had gone up by 0.45% on the same lender, same product, same loan to value, so, but the rate had gone up by 0.45%. So uh, it's unfortunate, but this is the... Um, this is the sign of the times. Go and check out this article, guys. There are previous articles in regards to this type of um, comparison. I think it's useful for us to know. So, you know, with all the doom and gloom out there, interest rates going high and watch out, guys, and stuff, there's not that much difference, in all honesty, with, with the 10 and 15% options. What I have seen, believe it or not, is bigger differences on the five year fix when you have got a lot of equity, okay? When you have got. 50, 60 percent uh, deposit or equity in the property. What you will find is where before you were getting sub, you know, one percent rates. Now you know there are a lot more. So um, we'll might be worth doing a, a separate sort of video on that. But uh, the, the the funny enough, the people that we got lower deposits, uh, first time buyers essentially, uh, what I've looked at, they're not faring too badly. So um, yeah, uh, hopefully that gives you some encouragement. If you did like it, if you want to see analysis like this uh, in the future, let me know, leave a comment, and I'll catch you on the next one. Take care, all the best. The content of this video does not constitute giving advice. It's purely for information purposes. All cases should be discussed with a professional mortgage broker. As a mortgage is secured against your home or property, it could be repossessed if you do not keep up mortgage payments. Niche advice is authorized and regulated by the Financial Conduct Authority.